Okay, so now we're gonna look at the other case, and that's where you have a coefficient of x squared being something other than one. So what do you do? Well, first of all, it need, you're gonna want to factor out the GCF uh, from your trinomial, if one exists. I mean, right here we have the uh, 4x squared and 9x and nine, the GCF here is one. So factoring out the GCF will help you if you can do it. Um, if, it if your GCF is one, then you kind of have to um, worry about uh, factoring out one other thing. And that is what would happen if this was a negative. And my process only works when this is positive. So you may ask yourself, self, what do I do if the leading coefficient is negative? I'll answer that question at the end here. But first of all, let me just point out that what you're gonna be doing here is very similar to what we did with factoring a trinomial where the leading coefficient is one. There's just a little bit more work in the middle. There's two ways of doing this. Um, there's the short way, which is kind of clever and you kind of have to anticipate what that uh, answer is. And then there's the first you do this, then you do that, uh, the regimented method. So I'm gonna show that method first and then I'm gonna show you the easy method. The easy method connects with some students, other students have problems with it. If you have problems with it, abandon it. Don't even try to figure it out, unless you really want to. Um, so, what is this longer method? Well, first of all, you still have to find the product of two numbers. And they're gonna have a specified product and a specified sum or difference. There's one small difference between what we did before and this. And that is, your product is gonna be not nine, but it's gonna be the product of these two numbers here. Four times nine is 36. Before we just had a one here, so if you were to actually do that, one times nine is nine, so it's easy just to break that down to nine. So we have the product being 36, but the rest of it's the same, difference is nine. So you want to look at the product two numbers is 36 and its difference is 9. You have 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12. Hey, right here we have it. I could continue on to 4 and 9 and 6 and 6, but I recognize that this difference is 9. So what do we do here? What you're going to do is you're going to take your first term, move it off to the side, you're going to rewrite it down a little bit to the left, and you're going to take your last term, move it down a little bit to the right. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take this middle term and break it up into two terms. And we're going to choose the signs and the numbers so that they, that they work out. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing in terms of bringing down this, the sign here. Bring down this sign, minus, and you're going to put something x. You're going to need to fill in this gap in just one moment. So it's 4x squared minus something x, but you need to have another term in here, and so that we're going to multiply negative times negative, which is a plus something else x. So we're going to need to fill in these two blanks. And what are we going to fill in with? The two numbers whose product was 36 and whose difference was 9. And that was 12 and 3. We put the larger one first, and a smaller one second. So if you notice here, all I did was just rewrote this trinomial with the middle term split up into two. If you were to go backwards, simplify this, you'll get the top polynomial. Now you're going to factor by grouping. So you have 4x squared minus 12x plus 3x minus 9. You need to factor out your GCF here, 
and the GCF is 4x, and you're left with x minus 3. Over here, your GCF is 3, and you're left with x minus 3. You should have the exact same parenthesis in both parts. Now that you have the x minus 3 in both parts, you can actually factor that out. You have x minus 3 times, well, once you factor it out, what do you have left? 4x plus 3. So, you're factoring out, it's not quite a variable or a number, what you're actually factoring out is a parenthesis and the contents inside. You have the exact same thing. And then what do you have left over is the 4x plus 3. And that will be your final answer. Okay, so now we're going to work on 2x squared minus 11x plus 15. And there's uh, the same process that we did before. I'm actually going to do this off to the side. You want the product to be 2 times 15, which is 30, and the sum is 11. Well, 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, hey, we're getting close. 4 doesn't go there, but 5 does. 6 times, hey, we have a winner. 5 and 6, 5 and 6 are our pair of numbers. Okay, so you come back to your problem, 2x squared, bring down the first sign, something x, minus times plus is minus, something else x, plus 15. Put the larger one first, 6, and the smaller one second. 5x. So now we have taken our trinomial and changed it into a polynomial of four terms. So now you factor by grouping. Now there's one small thing to be careful of, and that's when your third term is negative. Why the third term? Well, uh, when you pair off your first uh, two terms, your next term would be minus 5x plus 15. What I would encourage you to do is write plus a negative 5x plus 15, and then pair that off. You don't want to have a minus sign when you're doing the factor by grouping right here. When you first set up the factor by grouping, you want to have a parenthesis plus some other parenthesis. In our very next step, we're going to have a negative there, and I'll tell you how to deal with that. Um, but when you are setting up your original factor by grouping, you should have a parenthesis plus another parenthesis. So now we're going to factor out our GCF. The GCF of 2x squared minus 6x is 2x. And what you have left over is x minus 3. Over here, your GCF is 5. But what I'm going to tell you to do is actually factor out the negative sign as well. You want to have your leading coefficient, in either case, being positive. And the only way you can do that is by factoring out that minus 5. So I'm going to factor out a minus 5, and what do we have left over? x minus 3. If you would have had the minus sign out there, and you wouldn't have changed that, uh, the sign out for here, it would have thrown off your entire problem. So it is important that you keep your um, two parts, 2x times x minus 3 and minus 5 times x minus 3. We have the exact same parentheses. So we can factor that out, x minus 3, and we write down what remains, which is 2x minus 5. So that is our answer.